All right, so we were just mentioning the home inspection, so I want to talk a little bit about the home inspection process, at least on the buyer side here at the beginning, all right? So the first thing I want to look at is this inspection section that is actually in our purchase agreement or the offer, and if you will notice, there are several points to it. Now, right above this, which I didn't copy, is the section that it actually asks if they're going to waive the inspection or have the inspection. I would always advocate having the marking the box that says you're going to have it. You can later decide to waive it or not have it done if you choose to. But if you mark waive the inspection, I know there are people that think it makes their offer look stronger uh, because it will not leave allow them the buyer to get out. I would never personally mark the box, no inspection, but you could, obviously it's there, so there could be a reason for it. But let's say you do mark the section that says you want to have an inspection. Then the things you need to worry about are the number of days that you put in there that you're going to have the property inspected. This is very important and this number is key because you've got to understand the market and where you're at. If the market's really hot right now and there are a lot of sales going on, you certainly do not want to put your inspector or your client in a position where you may put something that is not feasible and you call your inspector and he's like, dude, I'm booked two weeks out. Now you've got yourself in a trick bag because you said three days. So you might want to talk to your home inspector at least keep kind of constant co contact to say, hey, you know, how far out are you? You're six or seven days. Well, we better put a number in here, Mr. Buyer, that allows us to at least get it completed in time, okay? So keep a tr track of that. And I normally tell my agents 15 days. And then here they list the whole litany of things that can be checked. I always write, or as needed, because I'm not a home inspector, so I can't name everything in there, but certainly the home inspector will come to me and go, dude, did you check the left-handed family credenza? No, do we need that? Yeah, we should. Okay, well, it would be covered under that section. You put a time in there that it gives to, uh, for additional days, say you found something in that time frame, but it does require a special foundation expert and maybe they're backed up as well, and they can't come out for two weeks. So you certainly don't want to put that number in there again and go, oh crap, I made that number, but my specialist can't make that number. So always make sure you give yourself plenty of room um, in dealing with the inspections to make sure that you get them done. Now, obviously there's also this as is, uh, and we can talk a little bit later about that. But those are some of the two basic things that you need to think about when you even start making the offer and talking about the purchase agreement, okay? The second question is who are you gonna hire? And what I mean by that, once again, typically it's your buyer's call because it is their property. However, 90% of them are going to look to you as a professional and go, hey dude, I don't even know anybody. Do you got somebody? Yes, I've got a couple guys I can recommend. I've dealt with them before. They're efficient, they're fast, and they're, you know, cost effective. So you could be, be potentially the person looking or that they look to you to give suggestions. And that's back to what we just talked a minute ago. It's going to be important because the loan type that your buyer's using may dictate who you hire as a home inspector. We discussed this earlier. Home inspector is a licensed required activity. However, there are some issues that need to be inspected that potentially a home inspector may not be termite certified. They may not be, you know, uh, FHA certified. They may not be lead-based paint. They may not understand testing well water for VA loans or FHA or USDA loans. So you could potentially have two or three different categories. Hey, I got a guy that's really good, but he does a home inspection. If my buyer needs a termite, I may have to use 
guy number two because he's the one I've got that's termite in, uh, approved. So depending on the loan, it could depend on who do you hire. It also could depend on what the buyer wants. The loan may not require a termite inspection, but the buyer may see, want one anyway. He may want a lead-based paint inspection. He may want an underground storage tank search. Whatever the buyer is looking for, you have to make sure that you get the right inspector to cover all of those quote unquote add-ons on top of the home inspection. Now it's possible you might use two different home inspections, but that's certainly not going to be as cost effective as getting one guy that's done both. You may have Dave do the home inspection and Brian run out and do the termites and have two separate reports. Like I said, probably they're both going to charge you, you know, full price or near full price. Whereas one guy may have only charged you a discounted price to do the termites because, hey, he's already there and I'm already doing the home inspection. So just understand that you can't say I've got a home inspector and that's the guy I use because it could be several different guys that I need. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, let's take a small break. We'll be right back.